if you found it, give me an amen. Proverbs amen. chapter 3. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, we'll, the text is going to be from verse 1 through verse 12. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, preach all that this morning, though. Amen. Uh, lest we be here a while. <laughs> Amen. We might be here. Amen. Because there's, there's a lot to say in that. Amen. But uh, but uh, verse uh, verse one says, chapter three says, "My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life." And peace shall they add to thee. Let now mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Amen. Uh, those first few verses there is what I want to circle around this morning if that's okay and then we'll look at the rest here this evening um, all the rest but yeah I, you know I, I was just thinking the past couple of days uh, about God's word about how that it is a a, a, a compass okay. amen uh, sometimes we lose our way. Right. I'm just saying, you know, we, we, uh, uh, sin has got a, a way of taking you the wrong direction. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sin's got a way of, 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 uh, of knocking you off the course. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course today we, we got these navigation apps on our phone uh, our phone is navigation and cars now comes already built-in navigation and uh uh you know, of course i uh, everywhere i go you know i i always put put a you know put it in you know just so i can get a uh estimated time of arrival not, not necessarily that I, I that i need to look at it because i already know the path you know but uh but it's it's uh it's pretty cool hey man it's pretty cool but uh, have, have, have you ever just stopped and looked at a compass, you know, just saw a compass? Uh, you know, there, there's eight main directions on a compass. There's eight main directions. You got north, northeast, you got east, you got uh, southeast, you got south, you got uh, southwest, you got west, and uh, northwest. There's eight possible directions on a compass how about that one amen and uh uh even though that there's eight directions possible directions on a compass the compass itself always points north regardless of, of the other eight directions it, it always points to the north always points straight ahead amen i know that the that we have people, you know, who, who say things like, well, you know, all roads lead to heaven, <laughs> you know, and uh, that's, that's just a, that's just a, 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 a typical graceologist type answer right there, you know, all roads point to heaven, no, it don't, amen, there's a few, few roads that lead you away from heaven, there's a few roads that lead you to hell, amen, and, uh, but, uh, but there's, there's eight main directions on a compass and, uh, but the compass itself always points to the north. And can I say to you guys, pastorally speaking this morning, the Bible is our compass. Amen. The word of God is our compass. Amen. And, and, and it always points in one direction, regardless of what direction that we might actually take, <laughs> amen, God's word always points in the same direction. It never changes. 
It never veers off from side to side. We, we, we do. Amen. But uh, God's word don't. That's why it's important. Amen. Uh, uh, God's word is so important. I don't care what the graceologists say. You know, it's legalism. No, <laughs> no, that's just that's just that is the compass. Amen. Somebody, Amen. that's just the compass. And uh, so, we see. He said what? He said, "My son, forget not my law, but let but let that heart keep my commandments." Amen. Amen. Uh, see, the compass. God's word here, guys, it uh, always uh, points us to morality, number one, amen, to morality. The compass always keep, keeps you moving in the right direction. You, you don't just take a, uh, the compass and put it in your pocket, amen? Amen, somebody? You see, the Bible is our moral guide. I said, it is our moral guide. You know, and, and so this this proverb here begins with an admonition. It, it, it says, my son, forget not my law. That's right. Forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. The 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 admonition here uh, brings the head and the heart together. Right. Brings them together. Amen. And uh, and so is is Pastor. What do you say? I'm saying that it's not enough to have God's word in our heads, head knowledge. Amen. It's not enough to have it in our heads. We gotta be like the psalmist who said that he had hidden the word of God. He had hidden it in his heart. Amen. Somebody. He had hidden it in his heart. It wasn't easy for an Old Testament Jew either uh, to forget God's Word. Did y'all know that? It wasn't, wasn't that easy because, because they were required by law to uh, write Bible text on the doorpost of their house. They had to tat it up with Bible text. Amen? Uh, you know my shirt here? Amen? I got some tats on my shirt right there. Amen? Just... You know, people people look at it. it I get all kind of mixed reactions with it. Uh, I fear God. I don't fear. I don't fear God. He's my friend. You know. And but then, you know, I get reactions. You know, that's right, brother. <laughs> Amen. Fear God. You know. And, and and so so it's you know that's that's what they were required to do. They would write it over the doorpost of their house. Amen. And so when they they went out. The text from the doorpost called out to him on the way out. Somebody say amen. amen. It called out and said, brother, where are you going? <laughs> amen. It called out to him and said, brother, who are you going to be with today? Amen. It called out to him and said, what business are you going to be doing today? Amen. And it, it called out to him on the way out and said, be mindful of your conduct. How you acting here today? Amen. It called out to him and said, Guard your conversation. Watch your character. Listen to your conscience. Amen. Because God never sleeps. Right. Amen. So it called out to him. Oh, hey, remember. Remember who your father is. Amen, somebody? Remember who your father is. And then, and then when he returned home, those text on the doorpost welcomed him again amen somebody and and well it, it, it would examine his day amen where you been <laughs> amen where, 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 where you been today what have you been doing today examine yourself you can't get away from God the all seeing eye amen man those texts just kept on witness amen and, and, and so I mean they, they just couldn't get away from it. They just couldn't get away from it. Amen. And and so, uh, you know, we may remind ourselves of Bible verses that we've memorized. But even so, even with that, God's word can be pushed out of our minds. Amen. It can be pushed out of our minds with the hustle of life, with all the junk that's going on today. Just 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 the common stuff that's happening. Amen. All the pressure that's going on out there, amen. The demands of business and 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 other distractions can 
all combine and join forces, amen, to crowd out God's word out of our minds. Push it right out of our minds. But oh, brother, let me tell you, when you when you combine the mind and the heart, <laughs> ooh, I'm about to, what is it, you know, come, amen, somebody. When you combine them both, amen. When, when God's word is in the hearts, amen, and the head and the heart, amen, then uh, it always takes center stage. Always takes center stage, amen. Uh, thank, thank God for this compass, amen, somebody. Amen. Thank God for the word of God, amen. amen. And the, the Bible always points us to kindness. Right. So the Bible always points us to kindness. If you look here at verse, verse 3, it says, uh, let let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Amen? To get to, uh, God's word into our head involves uh, a learning process. Amen? But to get God's word into our hearts involves the love process. And, you know, of course, that's easier said than done, but I'm just saying it involves the love process. Amen? So when the mind is engaged in an issue, the motive is I have to. When, when, the, when the will is engaged in an issue, the motive is I ought to. Amen? When the heart is engaged in an issue, the motive is but I want to. Amen? Ephesians uh, chapter 4 verse 32 says, And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Right. Even as Christ for, for uh, as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. And so here Paul uh, tells us that, that, that we, we got to display spiritual graces amen instead of uh instead of grudges amen instead of grudges it's easy to carry a grudge it's easy to say oh you ain't acting the way that i want you to you're destructive and just carry a grudge amen but uh guys listen to me are, are you ready look at somebody and say you gotta forgive others you gotta forgive them amen for the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, for Christ's sake, forgave us. Amen. And so, and so, for the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ, you got to forgive. Just as God forgave us. Amen. What did we do to Him? Amen. For the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ, we were forgiven. Bitterness and anger and all that. Guys, that'll wreak havoc over in your, in your, in your home and family. Amen. Bitterness and anger. Man, that, that will, that will just tear a church all to pieces. Friendships. Take them and cast them out the doggone window. Amen. Cause that's what bitterness and anger does. God forgave us when we trusted Christ. Amen. And yet we, Find it difficult so many times to forgive other folk. Amen. And, and, and you know, if if someone has hurt us, we'll either deliberately or unintentionally or, uh, you know, guys, we just don't forgive them. Then we begin to develop what's called bitterness within. Bitterness within. Amen. Which that hardens the heart. Have you ever made a statement, I hate people? <laughs> I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. You know, and guys, that's bitterness. That's a hardened heart. Somebody pull out in front of me in traffic. Well, you know, I hate people. Somebody, somebody, uh, uh, you know, just does something, scrape your car, something. Well, I hate people. Somebody jump in front of you in line or something. What? Well, you know, amen, that, that's, that's that bitterness, the sin that hardens the heart, amen. Pastor, what are you saying? I'm saying we should be tender hearted and kind. This is the compass I'm talking about here, guys. Amen. Now, man's way 
will smack somebody. Man's way will get mad enough, man, to, you know, and, 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 but the compass here, amen? The compass, God's word, the compass points us to another way. We got to be tender hearted and kind. But instead, we're hard hearted and we're bitter. We're not, we're not hurting the person who hurts us, amen? We're only hurting ourselves. We're only hurting ourselves. Bitterness in the heart makes us treat other people the way Satan treats them. Pastor, what are you saying? I'm saying that, that we should treat others the way God has treated us. Amen? That's the way that we should treat other people. His kindness. That gracious kindness. Amen? God has forgiven us. And so we ought to forgive others. Amen. We, we don't we don't forgive for our sake. Amen. Or even for their sake. <laughs> Amen. But for Jesus' sake. Because what he did. Amen. His power. His, we, 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 we do it for Jesus Christ's sake. Learning how to forgive and forget. Amen. It's one of the it's one of the secrets of a happy Christian. I'm just saying. One of the secrets of a happy happy Christian. And a happy biblical Christ, Christian life. And the Bible always points us to truth. Amen. Amen. The Bible always points us to truth. It says, So uh, so shalt thou find favor and good standing in the in the in the sight of God and man. Amen. And so it's, it's, it's the truth, guys. John 18 and 38. Good old Pilate. It says uh, that Pilate said unto him, What is truth? What is truth? And when he had said this, uh, uh, he went out again unto the Jews and said, uh, said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. John 18, 38. I find in him no fault at all. But he said, what is truth? And then when he had said that, he went out again to the Jews and said, under them, I, I find no fault in him at all. Period. Amen. Now, I know that was a, what you call a flippant uh, question by, by Pilate and, uh, and, and the fact that he didn't wait for an answer. You know, he's he, he just... You know, you know, it's funny how people. You know, I, I got a question for you. I, got, I understand a question. You know, you know, it's it's kind of sort of a question in the statement. You know, but but he he didn't stick around and wait for an answer. Amen. And the world's religions and philosophies have debated that question for years and years and years. Amen. You know, today we're told that truth is. Relative? That's truth. What is truth? Relative. <laughs> amen. And uh, Jesus stood before Pilate. It's, it's, uh, amen. Jesus stood before Pilate as the answer to that very question. Je Jesus didn't have to even answer him. <laughs> he, he was standing right there. You know, what is truth? Jesus was like, <laughs> right? <laughs> amen. What is truth? Um, let's see. John 14. I am the truth. <laughs> I am the way. Amen. Uh, amen. I am the life. Amen. He, he was standing right, right, right before Pilate. What is truth? Um, <laughs> amen. Here I am. Amen. And, and, uh, and he, he, he was the truth. Absolute perfect. Truth closed, amen, for everybody to, to, to see in flesh and blood, amen, truth, God has so loved us that he, 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 he formed this and, and put it, you know, spiritually in, into, amen, there he was, <laughs> amen, born, right there, standing right there before him, then and there. Amen. Good old Pilate could have slain all of his doubts. Amen. Uh, put all of his fears aside. Put them all to rest 
embraced Jesus Christ, embraced the truth. He could embrace the truth that day. Amen. John 8, 32 says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. See, Pilate shrugged off that moment, though. Amen. Pilate shrugged, you know, with, with all of his relativity, you know, you know, you know, and, and, and but but see, it it uh, never came again for him, though. You know, that that opportunity that we read never never came again for the man. Amen. Ne never did. Amen. He, he just simply dismissed everything. Amen. And so, guys, I'm, I'm just saying here today, I'm, I'm going to go on and close it now. Amen. I, I still got uh, a few more verses here to here to go. And we'll, we'll look at it here this evening. And uh, if, if we don't get far enough along, maybe next week or next uh, uh, Sunday afternoon, I, I might pick back up on, on finishing off when I don't finish off here this afternoon. But, uh, man, the compass, amen. Jesus Christ is that you know this 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 word, guys. This word is what I'm saying. The compass, and and so it it'll never change. Points us in the same direction. Thank God for the blood. Amen. Father God, right now we just come before Your presence, Lord. Together as as the body of Christ here this morning. Oh Lord, I don't know what this week has brought. Don't know what this coming week is going to bring. But I do know that the, that the Word of God is steadily the same. And Lord, we just we just thank You, Lord, that Your Word uh, sustains us. We just thank You that Your Word is that compass. Oh Lord, help, help us to, to not browbeat ourselves over this past week. But Look forward to every day with the Word of God that's able to correct our course. It's able to correct our course, able to correct our thinking. So, Lord God, we just thank you for that blood. We thank you for your Word. We just pray in Jesus' name, O oh Lord, that, that you'll just... Uh,